How are we doing today? We're going to magnetize a claw sail needle for use in an improvised compass. Don't go anywhere. Guys, this is my PLSK1 here. And I got a claw sail needle gorilla taped to the back. And if there's any one piece of my gear that has the most uses, it's this right here. I mean, this is from digging underneath my fingernails to repairing my gear and now is used for an improvised compass. And what we're going to do is we are going to use this battery here to magnetize this needle and I'm going to show you how to do that. Alright guys what you're looking at right now is a Sun 2 uh, liquid field magnetic compass and just real quick I wanted to go through some brief history with you uh, the compass, uh, pretty much what I can, from my research, was invented in China somewhere around the 1st century BC and the 2nd century AD. Uh, it was used for navigation by the 11th century. It wasn't until 150 years later that it was introduced to Europe where the dry compass was invented around 1300. It wasn't until the 20th century where the liquid filled dynamic compass that you're looking at right now was invented. Alright guys, I just wanted to talk a little bit about how a compass actually works. Uh, it uses a magnetic needle to point to the Earth's magnetic poles, north and south. On a pivot point, the Earth's magnetic field will actually exert torque on the needle and make it for point towards its poles. Um, the same basic principle applies to a claw steel needle. What we're going to do is we're going to magnetize this using a battery and what we're going to do is we're going to lay this needle across the uh, positive and negative poles of the battery and that's going to short the battery out and energize this needle and uh, I will say a word of caution this needle is going to get extremely hot at times be extre if you're going to do this be extremely careful not to burn yourself but let's set the uh, battery up and I'll get back with you. Alright guys, we're back. Uh, the reason why we're going to do this is, I mean, we're always going to have our knife with us. We're always going to have this claw sail needle attached to that knife. Therefore, we can always have an improvised compass. If we lose our bag, we take a fall and we lose some equipment. So. Our knife's always going to be attached to our body, therefore we always will have this improvised compass. Now the way this is going to work is we're going to actually lay this needle across the connection points of this battery. And we want this needle, just for ease of use, we want the actual needle part of this to point north. So what we're going to do is we're going to lay that needle, the point of that needle on the positive connection because the positive charge is what's going to point north so you have to excuse me I actually accidentally broke these connections but it will still work <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to lay this inside the negative part and then you can see that already we're going to make connection on the positive part right at the tip of the needle and then already I can start to feel this heat up the battery shorten out and that's exactly what we want we want this to get hot enough to where I don't want to really touch it anymore really hot it's getting there already excuse me guys I don't want to block you I just want to be able to sit this here for a couple seconds and it is not cooperating with me alright now that's heating up that's working as we speak right now and then what we're going to do is we're going to pull this off right about now it's very hot we're going to pull this off we're going to let this cool and we're going to want to do this two or three different times just to uh, make sure that it's nice and magnetized and then we're going to demonstrate it in a uh, bowl of water see what we get out of it Alright guys, we're going to do this one more time here. This is about the fourth or fifth one that we've got on this.
All right, that is red, red hot. Let's get that off there. Let that cool. Then we're gonna demonstrate how it works. All right, so we got our needle magnetized. And now we're gonna put it in the water here and hopefully the Earth's magnetic pull will pull on that needle. And obviously it's already working. You see it start turning. Now whatever vessel that you're using to, to do this, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your uh, needle stays away from the sides of it and then you're, you're not gonna to wanna to influence its turning as much as possible. Uh, it's gonna turn more to the east and then it's going to turn back a little bit and correct itself so you're going to want to be patient and just let this needle kind of do what it does and then once it actually comes to a full and complete stop then uh, we'll take a reading here and see see what we get all right well I hope you guys can see that that looks pretty aligned to me so I'm pretty confident in that if I ever lose my compass, I can pull out my sail needle from the back of my knife and float it and get a general direction to north. That'll give me the, the four cardinals at least. And uh, that's just, you know, this isn't something that you're going to get an azimuth out of. I mean, obviously anybody that knows anything about war union knows that I mean, you're not going to be able to shoot an azimuth or anything like that off this. But you're going to be able to get general direction. You're going to be able to get your four cardinals. Uh, you know, you're going to be able to pick out some, some terrain features, head towards those terrain features, and be decently confident that you're heading in the right direction. Also, you know, if you have a, a certain, you know, a vessel that you can take with you and periodically fill it with water and check your, uh, your, your direction periodically, you know, through your navigating, then, you know, you're just going to be more, you know, secure in knowing that you're, you're heading in basically the right direction. Alright guys, like I said, this is just one more tool to keep in your box. That way you'll know beyond a shadow of a doubt, even if you lose your compass, you'll be able to get general direction. I'm William with Saver Survival, and this is Connor. Appreciate your views, comments, and support. Stay on the woods.